What's shaking, guys? Luke Dancy here. We're having a little after hours unplugged action for you. This is a little uh, something I like to call uh, beyond the trailer because you've seen the trailer for something. And now we're actually going to talk to some of the Mechanic Industries team members about the set that you just saw, the Collusion Ring set. But first, I've got winners from last week's show. I have to give you guys the winners. And stay tuned. I've got some free deck of cards to give you guys, too. So if you want to learn how to win free deck of cards, stay tuned. I'll tell you that right after I announce last week's winners, who, again, uh, they had a chance to win the Alan Rorison uh, at the table experience. This is his lecture. It's going to be a download form. Um, all you guys had to do was to uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, how you found the show. Just, you know, get social out there. Let us know what's going on with you out there. Our uh, YouTube winner was... Chris, uh, he said he found this actually on a suggested uh, video, which is pretty cool. So, Chris, all you need to do is drop us a email, social at murphysmagic.com. We'll hook you up with that free download. It's that easy. All right, all right. So, that's our YouTube winner. We also had a Facebook winner, another free download, and that was Mark. He's from the UK, and he found us um, because he loves uh, not only to get good tricks, but the latest ones as well. And he found us by Google. So there is another friend out there that found us. So uh, it's always fun to hear where you guys are from and also to know how you did find us. So let us know. And Mark, drop us a DM over on Facebook and we'll hook you up with that. Um, I just mentioned we've got some free decks of cards to hook you up with. These are the brand new cards you have a chance to win. They literally just came out, I think yesterday. These are the brand new Hanya V2s. These are the reds. You have a chance to win these. Look at that. Isn't that sexy? Yes, there they are, those sexy, sexy cards. Uh, if you'd like to win these, um, all you need to do is to tell me what was your very first card trick? What was the first card trick you ever learned or that you ever did? And you'll be entered to win a free deck of cards. We'll announce the winner on next week's show um, with Nicholas Lawrence, actually. So if you want to win some free decks of cards, now you know how. And congrats again to our winners. But we are here today to talk all about the Collusion Ring set. So let's jump on over here and we'll bring him in just like magic in three, two, one. How we doing, Luis? How we doing, buddy? Good, man. How are you? Just like magic. Bam, I'm there. Just like magic. That's what we all, you know, we wish it was all that easy, huh? We wish it was that easy sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It would, it would be great. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me to talk all about this uh, brand new set. I know there's been a lot of questions people have wanted to know because it is a very unique release. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. So I know there's a lot of people wondering that the the first thing I'd like to get out there is that we just saw the trailer here for the set, but you mm -hmm. can also purchase this as just the ring alone, right? Yes, you if you can. want to. Yeah, you can just uh, if you purchase just the ring, it comes with the uh, tutorial just for the ring set as well. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you get uh, the set, you do have the gaff, uh, the coin, the chain, and uh, and the ring. But when you purchase just a ring, we put just a few ring routines that you can do so you can get you going if you already have uh, a grinder coin or something else. And cool. Yes, yeah, so you can get started from there too. Okay. So I know there was it, uh, some confusion. I saw that on the socials. People were asking, you know, oh, I, I, I see this is being sold as a ring, but do I get the other stuff? Um, and again, you can purchase just the ring and they do come in three different yeah. sizes. Um, or you can purchase the whole set. And I'll kind of bring up the picture here. You can kind of go over again. Uh, mm -hmm. what's actually included in the set. Because there's a lot, like you were saying there. Um, yeah. I'll let you go ahead and run people through these. You can see the image there of all the stuff that comes in the, the Collusion Ring set. Sure. Yeah, on the Collusion Ring set, you get a, a special made coin. Like, uh, Jimmy really went far on this one and found, like, a cool, the super new technology to make coins. And, you know, he sent me a few the prototypes, and I was just... I'm like, oh my god, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes with a ring, which matches the coin perfectly on the outside, on the inside, which is something that it's, it's really hard to do, especially with a ring. It, it really it, it really looks like the coin inside out, which it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a chain, right? It's actually it looks like a like a bike chain, and it's I don't even know how he got that so cool. It looks amazing. That's the one you're wearing right now. You've got the the chain yeah. On. yeah. Right on. Yeah, I use the chain quite a bit so I can, I'm always ready to do a, a trick if I have to. Cool. And uh, it comes with a gaff. Uh, and that's, that's an amazing gaff. Like, he came up with the concept uh, a while ago and uh, he shared it to me. And, you know, when somebody use, you share something with somebody, but you can't really see it. 
And I just, it took me a while. And as soon as he sent me to a prototype, a couple of things to work on, I, I immediately fell in love with it. And we came up with so much material. It was it's <laughs> insane. It's a, it's a cool gaff. I think this is my favorite one here, the morph. And this is the, the kind yeah. of like the side angle with the ring. Um, but we'll give you a yes. better shot here of the, uh, you can kind of see it there fused together. That's pretty rad, man. Yeah, that is, uh, it's, it's, cool. it's, 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 it's even hard to describe. Like when people see stuff, that especially that morph when that melt it's it like it we got from reactions only oh my god to just <laughs> dead silence and i'm like well maybe they didn't like it and they're just looking at me like uh okay yeah uh i should just go home now and uh it's amazing yeah. the other thing that's really cool about you guys and uh just so that everyone knows um there are tutorials included for both releases here. So if you just purchase the ring, you don't yeah. have to give specifics, but what type of stuff can they expect to learn um, with the ring uh, tutorial? I'll, most of the, the ring stuff, it goes with the coin. So there's a lot of, like, if you get the set, it, it it's all included. But when you get the ring, there's a, a most of the stuff is just, uh, perhaps someone just, uh, the ring moves, mm. you know, uh, like uh, Gary Thomas is the father of ring magic, probably as you were know, so you learn a lot of things that resembles that. Yep. But with the grinder coin, and we added like a couple of touches of a couple of moves that I have, and uh, so it's just putting the coin in a ring and taking it out, doing vanishes, cool. uh, using the chain because like rope and chain is one of my favorite things. And as soon as I got this, I'm like, I'm doing rope and chain, so yep. it's a uh, they have a lot of cool stuff that you can do with that too. It's just a starter thing to get. If you don't have, if you already have the set, you can just get the ring for an extra ring. But if you just get the ring, besides just being something really cool that you can wear, yep. I actually have a couple of my friends that just wanted the ring because they don't do magic, and it's it's a cool ring. But you can get started with uh, some coin magic and a couple other things along with the ring. And also, just so people know, the ring is specially made. It, it's got like yes. a better grip. I w I'd like you to talk about that too, because I think that's important so people know it's not just a ring, you know? Yeah. Uh, one of the things that we, when we started this project, uh, we uh, like for me, I'm a coin magician by heart. So if, to me, anything with the coin, like the edges, the weight, everything has to be somewhat perfect. It was never going to be 100% perfect, but it has to be at least 90%. And with the ring, it had to be the same thing. And then Jimmy was talking to me, and he said, I think I came up with a great idea for the gaff, and so let's make this ring. And the ring, uh, it grips, mm -hmm. right? Because most rings are just pure solid, so they don't have any edges. This is actually has a rim, just like a coin. So you can do most of your palms, and they're easier to steal. Right, so they actually grip so well in your hand. It, it's amazing the way you just fit. Dude, some of the visuals on this, we were just watching the morph here uh, going on. I'm going to actually back that up so we can watch it one mm -hmm. more time. Uh, so if, if you guys missed it, you've got a ring and a coin here. Uh, why don't you walk them through this? I love this. Well, that one is uh, one of Jimmy's favorite. He just puts in a spectator's hand, and it, it's pure, like, melting right oh under your hand gosh, it, looks so good. it is just yeah it is the, it's one of the craziest visuals that we got and having like expectator do a twist it's almost that that, that spoon bending yeah. yeah right that when they do it but with a coin a ring that it's has to be never done before looks great so nice um i noticed we've got some people just joining us here uh we are talking today about the collusion ring set and the ring uh i've got the images here uh, that was the morph we were just looking at. But here's the whole set. Um, this is everything you get with the set. Um, as yeah. you can see here, you get the the coin, you get the chain, you get the ring, you get the the morph, the gimmick. You get you get everything in the bag <laughs> for what it's mm -hmm. worth too. You get the bag too. Um, this is the set. But if you just like the way the ring looks and you want to get that, that is also sold separately. And it does come in, I believe, three different sizes, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Is that right? Yep. There's a small, medium, and large. <clears throat> I usually wear a medium size. James likes the large size because his hands are bigger. Cool. But like, yeah, it's it's a. Cool. It, I love the ring. And I think when I, we got it, it was one of the first things that I started playing with the mold. And he's like, "Okay, we have too much ring material right now, so <laughs> let's back that up." 
Cool. Sure. Um, and also just, you know, we were kind of talking specifically about the, the ring coming with a tutorial. So yeah. does the set. It's a totally different tutorial. And why don't you kind of yeah. talk about that a little bit so people know. Uh, the tutorial from the whole set. Uh, so the ring has parts of that tutorial, but sure. the, the set tutorial, it's a more uh, expanded tutorial. So you go through a lot of other combinations. So like uh, Jimmy shows his favorite combinations. I show like my favorite combinations with it because we had a ton of combinations. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a, a friend of mine, Joe Roden. He actually uh, is a great mentalist, uh, mentalist here from Toronto. And he came up with a great idea to use the entire set to get more reactions out of people. And it's just insanely visual. It's, it's when we... When he did it live to somebody in front of me, I just went, wow, like, why didn't I think of that? You know, <laughs> that's why I have good friends. But yes, it's a completely different tutorial. You get moves that, uh, some moves are published, some are not really published that I came up with with a coin a ring. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some new techniques in there, and there's a lot of good information. And, and everything that I came up with, my part with Jimmy and uh, John, for this tutorial is meant to be performed live. Right. Like we really, really went f as far to get from a, a easier level to a super advanced level, but everything we ch we tried went out and we tested, and it, yeah, and it's it's some there's a lot of material in that, and we had to cut about half of the material because oh, there was wow. so much. So there'll be a lot more coming up for whoever gets it. Which is going to add some more bonuses, Love but it's it is you know it's it's nothing extra. It's just bonus routines that's going to come out soon. Yeah, and, and you guys might recognize the name here too, Mechanic Industries. Like you can see above Luis's head there, uh, the the decks and also the gaff set, which a lot of people when they saw the trailer for that, they yeah. lost their mind because of some of the visuals on the uh, the gaff set that you guys have there. Um, how do you actually pronounce is it visualize or visualize or uh, visualize you, visualize like lies yeah, yeah. okay yeah. yeah it's a it's a lie yeah visualize yeah, yeah. um and so you lie. guys might recognize them from that also there are other decks of cards that came out um and the grinder coins and all that fun stuff so um david would like to know and again guys you know we are live we do this live for reasons you guys can also ask questions um mm -hmm. he'd like to know is the tutorial a download? So yeah, when you end up learning this stuff, how do you how do you actually learn it? Yeah, you just uh, there is a link. You just type it. It's just like most of our online links. You just go to the link, put cool. the password. It takes you straight to another page, and you can learn the whole thing. Sweet. And do you it's have any idea how long either one of those are? Are they like an hour or so? Um, or? I don't. Uh, the 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 complete set. It's it's about it's a little bit more than an hour. We have okay. a lot of material, and the ring set is a little shorter, but okay. they're equally great with material. So there's there's something for everyone in there. Okay. Um, here's a good question, and maybe this is just in general for mechanic industries, actually, because you guys put out you know a good bit of stuff here. Um, mm -hmm. Brandy would like to know: uh, Are you guys going to have a Facebook group for it, or do you guys have a Facebook group in general for you know, any of your stuff, like or all of your stuff together? Yeah, we don't. We have a little Facebook thing. Uh, we're just now in the process of making it a little bigger. Okay. So we're just getting a, our Instagram now. We're starting to get a couple more things out uh, with the decks and everything. It's literally a contribution from years of me and Jimmy work together. Yeah. And you know, I I have to say this, and like I'm I'm telling you this, everybody now, this is just the peak of the mountain. <laughs> There's so much more stuff coming up that is incredibly cool. Nice. That is, yeah, you guys gonna love it. Nice, yeah. very cool. Uh, I'm I'm just trying to also keep up here with some of the questions and comments coming yeah. in here. Uh, a lot of love for this. A lot of people are digging the visuals on it, of course. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> people are also saying uh, it's a great looking set. And I think that's one really cool thing is, you know, a lot of these days when you when you buy something, it's just like a one off. Or it's like a yeah. one-hit wonder, you know, you, you, you get this, this gimmick or whatever. I like it that you guys, you saw the value in this. So you said, hey, why don't we just make it a set? You know, let's put everything together yeah. and make it into a set. So, Yeah. But cool. The whole thing for collusion was amazing. Uh, Jimmy, if you don't mind me talking a little bit about how we, we came yeah, we'd, found we'd, it. Uh, yeah. 
uh, Jimmy approached me with the idea. He loves uh, spellbound routines, and uh, I always show him like crazy Japanese style spellbound routines from a couple of these things that I have because I read a lot. <laughs> and uh, he went one day. He he's, he's like, dude, I just got an idea. I'm like, I'm not gonna say it yet. I'm just gonna try to do it. And then he tried to make it, and he showed it to me, like a, a little prototype. And I'm like, well, I don't know how it is. But it, it wasn't until we I actually Skype and he sat down. We talked that I understand. It's a, it's the it's the spellbound right in the middle. It, which was a crazy great idea that he had because we always see the ring or the coin, right. but you never see that frozen moment in between. And he wanted to freeze that, like when you watch a video and you freeze that that frame, and he wanted to freeze that. And so he come up with a couple things, and we he did a he was like a genius with that thing. He just mm-hmm. made a twist and did all the progress, and then he showed it to me, and then I was like. I get it. Like I understand now, like where you're coming from, and it was insane. It's like it's it's that more right in between the spellbound when you don't know it's about to do that change, but it doesn't, and you go, hold on, I'm just gonna twist the reality just a little bit, but you can hand it out, like there which is. is just yeah. great. Sexy man, I love it. I liked it too when you we were just going through some of the tutorial, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you were um, it looked like you did the morph as well on the chain which was a good idea too you know they're holding the yeah. chain and you do it on the chain that was pretty cool man yeah. yeah that um it came about when i got the set uh a lot of the things that i was doing was on my slide of hand my got a kind of a guy i don't talk too much and i just let my hand do the work but i have a buddy of mine uh, his name is uh john roden he's a student of uh cantonapper and was just sitting down and he's like, I think I got an idea. Let me try this. So I go grab my coffee, come back. And he's like, hold out your finger. Do this, do this. And I'm just watching. Like, what is this crazy maniac doing? <laughs> and he told it to me. And I'm like, I don't know if this is going to fly. And he's like, hold on. And then, you know, he's, he's nuts. He's, he's an amazing, like, head, too. He just stops. He talks to some people. And he does it. Oh, wow. For like, and he just does it. And the guy literally like, what? But like he didn't have a, it was crazy reaction. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that works, you know, great. <laughs> and then from that, uh, we just, I added my own touch into uh, my routine. Uh, Jimmy put his own touch into his, but that was like a, a super cool routine. Like it's right. just, it uses the entire, yeah, the entire set. It uses the chain, the right. coin, the ring and the gaff. You leave them with something and it's, it's just insane cool. Nice. Yeah, it was, he was it did it? really add a couple of touches on, on the twist too, that was just incredible. It was cool. it, um where someone's someone made a nice comment here about this because it is like you said, all these different things. You mentioned mm-hmm. several things and none of them are playing cards. So uh oh. the great Ram Jammy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> says congrats add this to the cards etc and the routines are endless so it is nice to have something that you can wear and look at this you've got a ring yeah. you can wear you've got the necklace you can wear um obviously the coin you can't wear but i mean <laughs> yeah you carry yeah. stuff around and it's not a card trick it's not something they're used no. to seeing so it's it's something different which is always nice to be able to plug into your uh the magic that you already do you know your everyday carry yeah. stuff so big yeah. time it's uh it's an ing- it, it takes so much away from just being a card trick or just a coin trick, it, like it combines like yeah. two things together and just make this huge snowball. It is yeah. out of X Men. What? Uh, how long do you think it took you guys from start to finish? And I know you said you're not done, obviously creating stuff. But how do you think? How long do you think it took for you guys to go from the conception of this idea to actually having it out now on the uh, on the market? Uh, it took about. A year and a half just for the uh, just to get all the ideas combined. Mm-hmm. Like, cause it again, it's when somebody tells you, okay, I want to make this, this, and this. It's, it's you can see it, but it's hard to visualize their their view, their concept, unless you have it in your hands. So he also explained it to me he he wanted to do it, and he he did a couple of prototypes. And it was about a couple, maybe like I was a year ago when we actually had a prototype in hand. Okay. 
uh, we start just working on a few ideas here and a few ideas there, finding, uh, you know, different moves. What can we use? What can't we use? How would we make it stronger? And then we added a little more twist, a little more of that, a little more uh, chain that a little stronger, a coin that looks better, mm. like it's super shiny. And so you can combine everything along with it, right? Wait. Um, when it comes to specifics, uh, again, mm -hmm. this is why we do this live, guys, to try to help you out. Daniel Ricks has got a great question, actually. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he says the size is small, medium, and large, which if you guys don't know, the, the ring does come in three sizes. Um, yeah. He, he wants to know, do you know what size those would be in actual ring size? So let's get down to the specifics of the size of the ring because people need to know that, obviously, when they're going to buy it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm run? not. Yeah. I don't have the, the, the millimeters uh right in front of me but i have i wear medium and i have pretty uh i'm not like a beefed up hand but i have a pretty okay hand so i would say to make this easier if you can palm a half dollar the medium ring is for you okay like the half dollar is good in your hands the medium size if you go more of a, a morgan size coin size then a large one for you if you can only do dimes and pennies, then go. No, I'm just joking. Then go this one. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's always tricky, isn't it? When you release something, it's a yeah. Record. It's because like every like even when I get sometimes I, if I I I tested a, quite a bit of rings just to try to come up with different uh, ideas for this piece before I had in this final ring in my hand because it's it's hard. Like the first ones, it didn't have that much of a grip and everything. And uh, like you, I order ring size. Okay, it's like uh, seven twenty nine millimeters, and then it gets, and it's not, and it's like okay, well that it's not the right size that uh, I ordered the right size. There's been gone the right size. So we just <laughs> and that's how we measure now. If I can classic palm a half dollar, the medium one is for you. Cool. Appreciate you running through some of those details for everybody because mm -hmm. that's a good question. Um, yeah. Speaking of other stuff you guys have done, uh, our friend over on YouTube, C. White, says the Optrix deck is so much fun. There you go. I'll look for the yeah. Optrix deck. Yeah. Very Man, cool. If you have the Optrix deck, you can do so much combos with the set as well because it comes with the coin, right? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Sure does. It's like uh, one of my favorite uh, gaps from that set that comes with the coin. So it's so, it's, so you can do so much stuff. And that's one of the things that didn't really make it. It's going to be a couple of the bonus features. Cool. So it looks, it looks really cool. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Ricks also says here, uh, I'd imagine uh, learning uh, ring rolls with this ring would be much easier starting out because it does have that added grip to it. Yeah. So it's got more of a, you know, a tactile grip yeah. to it. It's cool. I don't really do a lot of the ring rolls and stuff. So they have a, a little bit of broken fingers. Mm -hmm. But um, it's uh, Brendan Rodriguez. Oh, he's great. Hey. He picks up like four rings and he's just start rolling and like I love the guy, but it, when he does that, I'm like, man, hate you. You're so good. He's, <laughs> he's so good at it. It's and then you're a beast. Like you're crazy, uh, man. I had a question coming in over on our uh run a little uh Facebook uh watch mm -hmm. party. David Cantor says, uh top three other ring magic resources, you know, to round out your repertoire. So do you have any other ring resources you could recommend for people? I mean, obviously I know a couple of us say, but you're the guest. So if people want to learn other ring stuff, you know, if, if they want to get this and they want to do more, what yeah. else would you recommend as far as just mm -hmm. general ring magic? For uh, just general ring magic, I, you know, there, there, there's only one guy that I can really go to. Cause like I said, he's a father of ring magic. Uh, it would be uh, Garrick Thomas. Yeah. You know, that guy is just amazing with ring magic. So a lot of ring magic is separated in books. So it's it's scattered all around. Uh, I think a New York uh, Magic Symposium had a, oh my God, it sounds so old right now. It <laughs> has like a great ring trick. And there's a lot of like ring off ribbon and things like that. Sure. But I think he's the guy that really brought everything up to level right now. Like what ring magic is and update everything and he's he's a super nice guy and yep. genius when it comes to ring magic he's amazing yeah. at it his uh his ring thing project is pretty pretty awesome yes the, the ring thing it's probably one of the best resources for sure yeah yes it is I, I can't think of anything more complete just for ring than that you know it's a, yep. a big shout out for him to bring that up because yeah 
he's he's a great guy. He's an amazing performer and a great thinker when it comes to ring stuff and other things too. Right on. Um, is the ring weighted? Yeah, there's a good question. Uh, Christopher Cram, yeah. is, is the ring weighted or is it a lighter material? So uh, it has a little bit of a. It's a little bit lighter than the coin, but not by much. Okay. Like if you. It's like maybe just a few grams a little lighter because, you know, it doesn't have the same diameter of the coin. Right. But it's it's a, it's heavier than most rings, which makes it easier if you want to do like rolls mm -hmm. or uh, that those spins in your fingers. Because if they're too light, you know, it's, it's hard to control it. So it's just a nice weight that you can do them flow. Even I, I tried a few times and it worked and I was so happy that I dropped it. And it makes me sad I want to drop it. Because <laughs> Brandon just goes like for half an hour, has a conversation with you, and he's just rolling. Like, well, at yeah. least it's not a, at least it's not a piece of crap PK ring. Which if you drop those, they shatter everywhere. At least they used to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I, I dropped this a bunch of times, and it's still main. Yeah. And it, it the, what I love about it is just the grip, like it grips like a coin, right? Yep. So it's just incredible. Cool. Like uh. With the, I don't have a large ring on with me now, but like with the, we got the large ring, and I actually could muscle past the large ring. Oh no, kidding! Wow. Yeah, you can just, you can just take it. Poof. I, I did it a few times, and I was like, wow, I can muscle past large ring. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, CFC. Uh, let me just click on uh, this. Uh, someone else was asking a question. So I've got this in some groups too. And the groups, unfortunately, I can't pull their comments up on the screen. So let me just make sure I don't miss this. From Mark Cole, he was tagging me in a comment. So if you guys also aren't watching on any of the Facebook groups, um, do me a favor, do me a solid tag me in your question at Luke Dancy. I am on Facebook, if, if you're on Facebook and I can, I can see your comments pop up. That's actually a good idea. So Mark, um, I'm looking for your comment right now. Uh, if you guys have any other ones, we're going to wrap this up in just a couple minutes here, but um, let me, I'm going to come back to our shot. I'll just use my phone here. Let me see if that pops up on my phone. Uh, unless it's just a generic hello, which it's possible. I think it's just a generic <laughs> hello. Okay. <laughs> it does happen hello. on Facebook. We like to say hello to each other sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and we had someone saying that they've already ordered theirs and they're just waiting for it to arrive. So that's always exciting to, uh, uh, and what's up, Carrie? I see you, Carrie popping up. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, he's good. He's going to love it. There's a lot of cool things and there's a lot of detailed instructions in there too. And I have uh, a little, one of the moves actually I was telling him, to you about it that mm -hmm. I came up with. It's one of my little pieces called the Edgy Pass. Mm -hmm. So it's a muscle pass from an Edge Grip. That's I know awesome. it sounds hard, but <laughs> it's not that hard. It's just, okay, it's a little bit hard, but not that hard. But it's you, you do that with the ring, and it just looks like pure magic. Wait. Like as soon as you you put a coin in a ring and you take it out, I I, I do the same thing. You can actually see on one of the. Uh, on the um on the videos and it I'm not really tossing like my hand is stationary and it just pops out which is like you can do a lot with that move alone just just that in the in the ring alone that was basically my bread and butter when I got this just like, cool. yeah I'm gonna do this cool uh I I know that uh, a couple of people here saying that uh you know they they had some good questions uh, Mark said he's waiting for his to arrive. Uh, Mark Call, uh, that's the guy I was just mentioning there. He said he's ordering his now. Uh, he's he's awesome. a fan of it, so that's very cool. Um, when it comes to giveaways, I know that you were telling me that you guys, your team, uh, are yeah. going to be doing some giveaways as well too, maybe for this and some other stuff too. But why don't you kind of give them the deets? I've got some of that information queued up too if they want to have a chance to win some stuff. And don't forget, if you look down below, guys, we're also doing a giveaway for some free playing cards. You know what to do. I've seen a lot of you answering the question already, so keep it up. I'll announce those winners next week. But if they want to win some free swag from you guys over at Mechanic Industries, what do they need to do? Okay, so we're gonna have a little uh, a little contest. It's gonna be like a sort of scavenger hunt that we want to do just for fun. Yeah. So what you have to do is uh, follow uh, my uh, my Instagram 
uh, which is uh, uh, Luis Castro Magic uh, underscore Magic, uh, and uh, Mechanics on Instagram, and Murph is Magic. Okay, so you got to tag those three, and I'm going to be tagging how we're going to do that. So every week, we're going to have a little scavenger hunt thing going on, and once you find it, it's you, you're going to just put you ahead, and you're going to, the prices, we're just getting some more details. It's going to be a couple more bonus routines, uh, a lot of the, uh, a couple of the collusion sets, a couple of the decks. So we're going to, we want to, you know, try to give as much as we can to the community to do like, you know, this is not just getting, it's a lot about giving too, because that's what magic is all about, right? Well said. Very, very well said. So these are the accounts. You can see them over on Luis's side there. They're, they're like part of your shirt now. Um, <laughs> We've got, those are the accounts at Murphy's Magic, at Mechanic Industries, and at Luis Castro underscore magic. Keep an eye on those over on Instagram, um, and they're going to be doing some giveaways uh, for some surprise stuff. I don't even know exactly everything, but there you go. So yeah, keep an eye on cool, those cool. accounts, and you will uh, see some stuff popping up. How, how soon did you say this might start? Uh, we're probably going to start in a week or two. Okay. Just giving, like, because we're just figuring out a couple more uh, details of the scavenger hunt. Cool. Because uh, they will be fun to, and like I said, it's like it's not gonna be. It's gonna take a little bit because every week we're gonna post one, but it's gonna get harder and harder and harder. Okay. And once we get that that done, it's gonna it's gonna be really cool. It's gonna. That's good. All right. So yeah, you guys have all be, the yeah. details. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Cool. It's gonna be a lot of new stuff in there, and then uh, we because I with collusion what we did we 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 are base of a slide of hand type of company we mm -hmm. love slide of hand like jimmy with cards just like like thanks man for sending me that stuff that i can never do <laughs> and uh, like so but when he gets to coin magic i i take more of that but uh, with we got a lot of the stuff that is going to come up in the contest is it's going to join everything it's going to get uh places from collusion and it's going to get stuff from uh visualized uh, from uh, op the Optric deck, and, like one of the uh, the cards that come with the Optric, if you don't mind me showing, it's uh, this gaff. Hey, there it is, yeah, right on. Right, and it's one of my favorite gaffs. So it's going to be a couple very cool moves, actually. You know what? I can, if you don't mind, I can show them a little a, a move or two. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, man, do it to it. Okay. So well, I'll, I'll bonus action tonight. Down a little right? bit here. <laughs> um, one of the things that, uh, I really like to do with that. It's uh, it's this type of thing. You can show the coin, and then to take the coin, you just shake it, and nice. then uh, <laughs> it just pops out. Cool. Right? So you can keep it and do the vanish. Oh, oh no! Oh, it's just over there. Now I'll put it right there. Now that's the coin. Whoa! Oof, nice. That's just the ring. You know what? I actually don't like the ring that much. I just put the ring away. No, that's the coin. That's the one. Uh, that's the second coin. Actually, I'll just vanish this one over here. And uh, the last one, all I have to do is, yep, just toss. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. You, you can, can tell you do this all the time, dude. <laughs> and it's a super cool little, little thing that we're going to be teaching along with the new bonus routine. So that's nice. a little part of the scavenger hunch just to give a little hint. Nice. Dude, there were some great visuals on that. Wow. Nice. Thank you. Very nice. I appreciate you doing that. It's a little bonus for you guys. I didn't, we, we talked about it, but we didn't know. We didn't know if he was going to throw down the goodness, but uh, obviously he just did. So appreciate that. <laughs> that's cool. hey, no problem. Uh, cool. Yeah, I know. That was going to be some very cool stuff in there. And, uh, and I, I also want to give, like I said, I'm all about giving, because, you know, to me, that's all magic is all about. If it wasn't for, uh, you know, my mentors back in the days giving, because a lot of these great books here was yeah. a gift to me from a couple of those guys. So I, I, I always believe that, like, you know, there's there's the next kid in there sitting there on that little table practicing his Pharaoh Shuffle and nobody knows about. It. So yeah. I always like to give them, spend more time with them. So... Uh, I want to share a little thing, and I know a lot of people that it's going to get collusion. It's going to see a lot of uh, one of my moves called the Speed Vanish. 
and I can do that impromptu. And a lot of the stuff that I do is based on like Miguel and Heya and a couple uh, uh, Spanish magicians. Um, and uh, I involved a lot of uh, a pocket work mm-hmm. if I do it. So there's a lot of problems when it comes to making things going to proper if you don't wear a proper jacket. It's like I'm not wearing a jacket and I am okay with it now. I'll just stick that card out. And I want to show you a little um, a little thing that I you can make yourself. It's not very hard. It's a small crafty thing to make your pocket open and close as you wish. Okay. okay. So it's pretty much you gotta go to a to a uh, coffee shop and get one of these. Uh, I put a little. <laughs> God, that's great. It's just like I'm hiding a brand here. Nobody knows where I got this from. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you go to any uh, uh, so like Michael's store type of thing, you can get uh, felt that it's peel and stick. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's, all you have to do is just pretty simple. Cut it. Measure from your pocket. Cut a little bigger from both sides. You don't even have to pair of scissors for this one. And you can see it stays like that. So it's half of a cup, right? You put the felt on the, the inside part. And why you put the felt so you don't make a noise. And you put it in your pocket. So as you can see, I have one actually in my pocket. I'll lift this up a bit. Okay. And my pocket's pretty open. So to do things like the speed van, like, like that. Oh, it's wow. just, you know, you keep your pocket open for any other moves, even, uh, like, you know, that was so it's sick, much, dude. that was much easier to do. Or even there is one of the things that I do. Oh, where did my ring go? I do so much moves that <laughs> I don't know. Stuff was. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like, great. <laughs> you know, a funny story. When I was actually recording this with, uh, my buddy John in here. And I did the move, and I did the coin, and the coin actually fell in in my in my floor in my room, and it landed on the perfectly on a crack of the room, and it stayed like that. Oh my god, that's funny. So we are freaking out about it <laughs> because that would never happen in a million times again. So oh. we took pic- that was like an hour of taking pictures, and I'm like not running, so the fall does the coin doesn't fall. It was just that's all. Yeah, we had a. It was an omen, man. It was an omen. <laughs> I know. It was just uh, another one that is actually on a, a video. You can put the ring on, and it goes like that, right? Nice. So it just goes on. Uh, so I'm using this speed vanish in a, in a different way, which you know, goes into my arm, but you can use it right to your pocket. Oh, dang. That looked right. good that time. Yeah, that was great. Wow. So there's like two ways. I always show like two ways to do the same thing. So yeah, that's a little gimmick that you can keep your pocket open. Uh, we didn't really put it on the thing because there was so much information already in there. Oh, that yeah, it was jam packed, crazy. Already, yeah. <laughs> but I want just to share it for everybody, so then you know cool, they have a little little bonus thing going on. That's awesome. Yeah, and it's uh, uh, as we as we start to wrap everything up. I think the other cool thing is when you guys actually get in there and you start to watch the tutorials um, that are included with this stuff, which is great. Um, there's a lot of crediting in there, which I think is yes. um, a great thing that you and I talked about before that I wanted to make sure yeah. um, was brought up too, because that's that's always important too, you know, the, the crediting. Yeah, uh, I think uh, crediting magic is really important. Um, you have to, you know, give back to the people that got you to the level that you are right now. Mm-hmm. So as much I, I do the best I can to go to everything to every anywhere I can go to find like a little move, like you know, like I said, uh, you know, I, I talked to like uh, Kira Fuji about a move, and I actually went to him, and then he pointed me to a different direction, and I actually had to find another book, try to find another thing. I'm buying all. That's why this is just a quarter of my books. <laughs> the rest God. is actually in storage. Wow. Like I, if I have to find something, I can just go and uh, I have a little app that I just go and try to find it, and I can have to go there and get it. So crediting is really important to me. Yeah. So I did the best that I could 
to include as much crediting as possible on this entire DVD, uh, you know, so it's uh, not the uh, download. So it's, yeah, it's, it was a lot of work, but I think it's, it's, it's our way to give back to, our, you know, the creators of mm -hmm. magic. So That's it's great. I mean, I wish more people thought a lot of like respect. That. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, it'd be nice if people thought more like that these days. Yeah, but yeah, you do, and that's great. I, I, I think you know, if I, if you want to change something in the world, it starts with us. So why not start with me, right? So I'll, I'll take the first step and keep doing. And if I can inspire somebody else to do it, yeah, you know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm happy. I get uh, one person doing. It's good. Uh, well, uh, we definitely appreciate your time, my friend. I'm going to uh, let you get out of here. I know it's the end of your work day uh, over there. I know you spent some extra time with us. And also, I'm going to throw these up one more time. They are going to be running some contests uh, on their own uh, on the Mechanic Industries uh, social media. So make sure you're following these uh, guys right here and popping them up right there. And also the Murphy's Magic account. Yeah. Um, in the next week or so, they'll do some fun contests. You said there might be some like scavenger hunt type of thing. So it'll be fun. Just yeah. like just like the magic you guys are putting out. It'll be, I'm sure it'll be creative and fun, whatever you guys end up doing. So yeah, yeah we ha we're planning a super fun thing. And it's actually hard to plan things like that, but it's not going to be super easy, but it's going to be fun to do. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Well, I uh, hope you have a great rest of your night, Mr. Luis. You too. And uh, appreciate your time, my friend. And we'll you too, uh, my friend. We'll have to do this again, man. When we, because uh, I know you guys, uh, and that's one thing I do like about your company too, the mechanic industries. You guys don't put out like a ton of stuff, but when you do, it's always got like a certain level of quality, and it's good. Yeah. So I'm, um, you know, I'm sure we'll do this again for another. Yeah, for sure. Killer release. Like I time. said, this is this is just the peak of the month. There's so much stuff coming now that is. Sweet. Like I, I wish I could just flap about like for hours, but it's <laughs> super cool, and I have to keep tight because you know. Yep. But if you want to keep the job, guys... you're gonna have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, but you guys will love it. There's, there's right. you know, it is gonna combine everything. It's like this is just the beginning, and it's just gonna go around the whole circus of full performance. Awesome. It's, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Sweet man. I will uh, I will catch you all next right, time then, all right? Cool. Yeah, for sure. Again, Luke, thanks a lot for that. Thank yeah. you, uh, Marcus Magic, to yeah. give us a little uh, platform to not only us, but to every other performer that comes along. It's a great thing that you guys are doing. Oh, thanks, man. And uh, hopefully, like, we can inspire some other magicians. That's what it's all about. And, you know, get your thing going. Absolutely. And if they have any questions about the product or you know, move or anything, you know, like, like I said, we're all about giving. They can shoot as a message we'll do the best we can to help them out and you know so they can get their their magic as powerful as they can sounds good all right great parting words my friend thank you so much appreciate you you too thanks a lot man. Be, man. and all you guys out there we definitely appreciate you too i know this is one of those kind of late night sessions late night hangouts you know we're a little late here um but uh it's been a busy week for us uh you know we had shinlim yesterday if you haven't watched that yet it was a great chat with Shin, chatting all about his world, what he's up to, and all the great stuff. And he shared some good advice on there, too. So if you haven't seen it yet, have a look at the Shin Lim uh, chat that I did. Uh, next week, next Wednesday, I've got Nicholas Lawrence. Nicholas Lawrence is going to talk to me about Revolve and just his magic stuff in general. You know, Nicholas is great in general, just as a guy, as a creator. He's one of the best at it. He'll be, he'll be with me next week. And then actually on February 5th, I don't have the exact time yet. It's going to be another evening hangout, but I'm going to tip it here. Jeff McBride. I've got Jeff McBride for you guys coming up on February 5th uh, live. It's probably going to be close to like 5, 6, 6 o'clock, 6.30 Pacific time. So I'll schedule it up when we actually dial in the time. He did commit to it. We just need to figure out the exact time, um, but I do have Jeff McBride. So that's going to be pretty rad to uh, have one of the magic heroes on here. Uh, and speaking of heroes, I, I don't know if you've been keeping up with our Instagram stuff, but I've been posting some stuff from the SAM convention. I want to give them a shout out too for having us, the Murphy's Magic. Uh, I went there and I covered some of the uh, the convention and I went to the Matt King roast. The roast was one of the funniest and, and just most fun things I've done in a long time in the magic world. Um, people like Chris Kenner, Nick Defot, Amazing Jonathan Penn from Penn & Teller got up. Um, Derek Hughes, Michael Carbonero from the Carbonero effect. They were all up on stage and they went up one at a time 
and they were roasting the hell out of Matt King, which was phenomenal. It was great. And uh, Mike Hammer was the host. He was like the MC, and he he definitely had it going too. So a great time. Uh, anyway, uh, and and of course uh, Jeff McBride was around. He wasn't roasting. He's not that kind of guy, but he was around. He was he was hanging out. So yeah, good times. Uh, and again, if you do want to have a chance to win the hand you playing cards, I've seen you do it the whole show. All you need to do is in the comments during the next week, tell us uh, what your first card trick was because we are doing a deck giveaway. Uh, these are the brand new Hanya playing cards. The V2s just came out. If you want to win these, that's all you got to do. Post that comment out there and we will uh, hook one of you guys up with a free deck, both on uh, one for YouTube and one for Facebook. So get to it. All right. So I will catch you guys on the flip side. Um, thanks as always for the support. If you have any questions for us in the meantime, you know how to get in touch with us. Drop us a DM. Uh, thank you, Mark, for the love out there. Appreciate you, my friend. Um, and we will uh, we'll, do, we'll do our best to answer those questions for you. So, yeah, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to go. So have a great rest of your night, guys. And I will catch you next time for another episode of the Good Old Unplugged. All right, my friends. Have a great night, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya.